What is going on guys? My name is Coaster Planet here and today I will be breaking down the 2018 which is this year's uh, roller coaster announcements. So th this doesn't mean I will review them or share my thoughts on them. I'm just going to break them down a little bit and kind of describe them and stuff, but not too much details. But um happy late New Year's guys. I'm sorry I wasn't able to upload a video on time because I had a funeral that day. But anyways, moving on to the video. Our first coaster to break down is Real Blazer coming to California's Great America. So there is a clone of this coaster at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. But they look pretty similar except the color scheme and theming yeah you, you kinda get the point so the stats are of course here on the screen but we're gonna read them right now length is 1800 feet of track height 106 feet tall inversions 3 Top speed is 52 miles per hour. And the manufacturer, Rocky Mountain Construction. This is a single rail Raptor track coaster, if you're not familiar with that. And was built by RMC. This is the, the, one of the second, um, second of these kind. Okay, next coaster to break down is another, it's a kids coaster going to Sesame Place in Pennsylvania. This is another family coaster at the park. They already have, they already have one, which is called Vapor Trail, and a, a kitty coaster, which is a steel coaster. This is a wooden one. So they have now two roller coasters that are gonna be at the park. So we're gonna kind of tell you guys the stats right now. Okay, length. 1,200 feet of track drop is 40 feet and really they did not announce the top speed yet however it does still look cool to see the coaster and the theming kind of it's a cute coaster the trains will probably most likely be themed to the picture here which is a taxi cab with Oscar in the front so it looks cool, but wait, I'm not sure if they're going to add Oscar in the front. Either they're going to add him or they're going to just theme the coaster to the taxi as you see in the image, but without this thingy. Uh, anyways, yeah, structure type, hybrid steel structure with wooden topper track. So this is, if you're not familiar, this is kind of similar to Mind Blower or... And Mind Blower, White Lightning at Fun Spot, America, and the other to be Invader at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. So they're both have hybrid steel structure as their support, but the other two are not manufactured by. Gravity Group. So, manufacturers Gravity Group. If you guys are not familiar, Gravity Group it is the ones who built. I believe they built. Uh, I think it's called uh, Warrior at Quasi. Their little family coaster, and I think Mind Blower is built by. Yeah, Mind Blower is built by Gravity Group. So, yeah, that's Gravity Group. Moving on, okay, next coaster to break down is Electric Eel coming to SeaWorld San Diego next year, I mean this year. So they already have two coasters that are open, Manta and Journey to Atlantis. However, people think Journey to Atlantis is considered as a water coaster, not a 
roller coaster type. But to be honest, Journey to Atlantis is still a roller coaster for many roller coaster enthusiasts because it has some sections where they have turns and drops and you know and hills and basically this is another launch coaster they already have Manta at the same Manta which is in which is another launch coaster so this is, will be the second one okay stats the length is 860 feet 63 feet of track height 150 feet in versions 1 top speed 62 miles per hour and the model is a skyrocket 2 which is cloned so I don't think this will be a fan favorite coaster like like a good outstanding coaster like you could make it to your top 10 list I don't think it's gonna work like that because this is a clone coaster and many coasters or enthusiasts already ride the Skyrocket 2 coasters if you're not f familiar with that kind of type of coaster it is the ones like Superman, Superman Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom Tempesto at Busch Gardens Williamsburg Phobia Fear Coaster at Lake Compound so if you're not familiar with those coasters go t search up a Skyrocket 2 and you're gonna see a coaster exactly like this so it's not really great to clone coasters because you kinda you already experience it already and it's just the same ride and last but not least is the manufacturer of the of this of the one who made who's making this roller coaster at the park okay <coughs> excuse me premier rides so they're the ones if you're not familiar like I said they're the ones who who build Superman Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom Six Flags um, a full throttle at Six Flags Magic Mountain and Skyrocket at Kennywood so if you're not familiar with those just search it up and you might figure it out and next coaster to break down hang time at Knott's Berry Farm so this was scheduled to open this summer so I do kinda like the color scheme though but the coaster itself looks good looks like a good icon so stats length 2,198 feet of track height 150 feet tall inversions 5 top speed 57 miles per hour manufacturer is Gerslar and this ride type is an infinity dive coaster so this is a dive coaster first kind and not only that but first kind in California however this is not built by B&M but we kinda get the point it's still a dive coaster as you can see after that after you go up that lift you're going towards the 90 deg 96 degree drop you're then you know stay there for at least I think three seconds long and then you'll then dive in that 96 degree drop and then you'll go to these maneuvers and then a couple inversions and the ride is finished okay next coaster to break down is Tantrum going to Darien Lake this year this is a coaster that is going to Darien Lake and it is a coaster that they're finally building they haven't Darren Lake really didn't really get a coaster for too long. Their last coaster was the motor coaster in in 2008. So it's kind of been a while now. So and they're finally getting a coaster, although it's cloned to Iron Shark at Glaveston Pier at in Texas. So 
that's the only bummer but you know it's still a new coaster and it's nothing like it in the park it's a beyond 90 degree lift hill and beyond 90 degree drop so there's really nothing like it at the park but although it's cloned so what can I do that's what the park chose okay color scheme now I just found out that is a green track with orange supports so we're gonna get to the stats right now length 1246 feet of track height 100 feet tall tall inversions one top speed 52 miles per hour and it is a you're a fighter coaster and the manufacturer if, is of course Gerslar so if you don't know what Gerslar is Gerslar is the coast is the manufacturer that made pa pandemonium at Six Flags Parks uh, Daredevil Dive at Six Flags Over Georgia yeah, Hydris and Iron Shark at Glavestone Fear. So if you don't know this manufacturer yet, you gotta look up uh, you gotta look up Eurofighter roller coasters and go to roller coaster database and that's how you're gonna find figure it out. So yeah. Okay, next coaster to break down is Steel Vengeance coming to Cedar Point this year. So this is everyone's hype coaster. Everyone is excited for this roller coaster and would consider one of the best roller coasters this year. So it will be cool if I get to ride it someday but however Cedar Point is not my home park so I cannot just go there and ride it. It's too far away from my house. However this coaster is cool for being the tallest out there so it is a RMC hybrid hyper coaster and does break a couple of records which is neat so and it has more inversions on an RMC and it's also the fastest out there so to kick things off to kick things off we're gonna we're gonna tell you the stats right now okay length is 5740 feet of track the height is 205 feet drop is 200 feet and it does have four inversions top speed is 74 miles per hour wow that's quick man structure type they use on this coaster is they use hybrid wood structure with iBox track so if you're not familiar with that that's the one they used on Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain and the Joker at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom and who and the person who designed this the person who designed Steel Vengeance is is Alan Shilke he's the guy who helped the crew build design this ride and build it and Alan Shilke is the one who designed Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mount and this one so if you want to know who he is go search him up or go to one of the roller coasters for example like this one look at the designer click Alan Shilke's name on there and it will tell you and then after that if you wanna get to know him look him up at Google so you know how he looks Alan Shilke he's a good guy for building these awesome RMC monster monster type of coasters so this is Steel Vengeance next coaster to 
breakdown is Time Traveler going to Silver, Silver Dollar City. So, this is its first kind and a unique roller coaster. So, it is its first kind, it is its first launched spinning coaster, not spinning coaster with inversions. So, it's pretty nice, pretty unique to see this come. I just kind of want to hear how people loved it, the experience. If it is a great experience, possibly we can see it go. We can see more of these kind of coasters go to another amusement park. But they're hopefully not clone it and, you know, clone it and put it at other parks. Otherwise, you know, it's just going to be terrible and not terrible but like it's gonna get tiring because once you visit another amusement park you might realize the same ride and you're just gonna be like oh it's just the same thing so why would I give this coaster a higher score uh, anyways we'll get to the stats right now the length is 3020 feet of track height 100 feet tall drop is 90 feet and it has three inversions top speed 50.3 miles per hour or 53 miles per hour and the type is a spinning coaster like I said it, it is will be its first kind and not least but not last but not least is the manufacturer who built this coaster so it is Mac rides so Mac rides have if you're not familiar with that manufacturer they're the ones who build those family wild mouse coasters such as Coast Rider at Knott's Berry Farm the fly at Canada's Wonderland and Ricochet at Kings Dominion and Carowinds so just go look them up in database and you'll be familiar with that manufacturer next coaster to break down Wonder Woman coaster not to get confused with the other one going to Fiesta Texas but this is an SNS 40 free flight coaster and they already cloned this at several Six Flags parks so I don't know why they just keep doing it but they just want to do it anyway I don't know when they're gonna stop cloning these coasters but it's kinda like the Skyrocket 2 coasters the Vekoma Boomerang the Vekoma SLC you kinda get the point right they're always cloning so coaster enthusiasm be like eh why don't I not ride this at all because it's just the same ride but we can just ride it just for fun. That's how coaster enthusiasts are like. Okay. The color scheme kind of looks fancy to me. So it's kind of odd. Okay. Stats now. We have the length is 1,019 feet of track. The height, 120 feet tall. Drop, 54 feet and the top speed is 38 miles per hour wow what a slow ride maybe because it doesn't really have any big drops or anything that's why it's kinda slow and last but not least the, no excuse me sorry the model of this coaster is a free spin so if you're not familiar with this this is the one like Batman the ride at Fiesta, Fiesta, Six Flags Fiesta Texas Joker at the Joker at Six Flags New England and Great Adventure and stuff like that so and la last but not least now is the manufacturer who build it, who's building this coaster is SNS Worldwide so if you're not familiar with them they're the ones who built those SNS 40 
who built those 40 free spin coasters and at the El Loco at the Adventure Dome so go I want you to go look him up at database and make sure you know who he is so yeah or who they who they are what com what company built that ride so just go check it out next coaster to break down is the clone coaster at for clone coaster with California's Great America Real Blazer but this is Wonder Woman Golden Lazar coaster although I don't really like the coast the color scheme but it's growing on me now so we'll get to the stats okay length 1800 feet of track height 113 113 feet drop 100 feet inversions 3 top speed 52 miles per hour structure type steel structure sing single rail track with steel supports last but not least the manufacturer who built this is Rocky Mountain construction and before we move on to our next breakdown I want to clarify this this coaster looks plain and simple it kind of looks like from roller coaster tycoon well that's because this is a single rail coaster and that's all they can came up come up with to make how it looks so yeah that's it that's all why it looks plain and simple but I don't know why it kinda looks odd okay next coaster to break down Twisted Timbers at Kings Dominion this is our this is a redo on their coaster hurler which people many people say that it was rough so they say they should just RMC it so they, then they finally RMC it, it but the reason why they closed it 2015 is because they were pre preparing for something they don't want people to know so and maybe they're also saving up the money to redo this because remember retracking a coaster and redoing it costs lots of money so it's not easy it's not cheap so that's why King's Dominion probably just left that coaster, coaster closed aka standing but not operating but now they close it and now they're redoing it so which makes it a better coaster okay we're gonna get to the stats length 3361 feet of track height 111 feet inversions 3 top speed 54 miles per hour structure type is hybrid wood structure with ibox track so yeah those are the ones who did Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain and Joker at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Just reminding you guys, so in case you're new to my channel and a new coaster enthusiast, at least you learn something from me. Uh, okay, last, last but not least is the manufacturer who built this hybrid coaster. Okay, Rocky Mountain Construction are the the manufacturer who did this which so far I love these are great manufacturers I love what they did because I love Twisted Colossus so much I love riding that coaster because it's thrilling the drop is steep I love the two inversions I love this my favorite one on the on Twisted Colossus is the Top Gun stall I love that stall you get great great hang time on that my, that's my new favorite element on a roller coaster the top gun stall I love it because you get great hang time and you do get a little bit of air time on it as well so yeah next coaster last next coaster to break down is twisted cyclone at 
Six Flags over Georgia. This used to be a wooden coaster, Georgia Cyclone, but now they are redoing this coaster so to make it a one of a heck and general in rush so this coaster is a hybrid coaster that is mainly with a wooden structure I don't know what to say okay you know, it would have been better though for my, in my opinion if they decide to make the wood structure white and leave the track blue to make it like out make it stand more and make it bright I like it bright because it catch more attention but yeah they use that kind of like tannish brownish wooden structure which makes it look dark and light it doesn't really match but I like light because it does give it more attention and you get to see the coaster more and it does look a lot better for my opinion okay we're gonna get to the stats length 2400 feet of track height 100 feet tall inversions 3 top speed 50 miles per hour structure type they use is hybrid wood structure with ibox track and manufacturer is Rocket Mountain Construction the one who is building this coaster right now so that's it all for the 2018 roller coaster breakdown hope you enjoy this remember these coasters are only in the United States they are nowhere else but the United States hope you enjoyed this though uh, I will probably see if I can make my top 10 or top 5 whatever favorite manufacturers in existence so just like I said so far my favorite one is Rocket Mountain Construction but I cannot really list you right now because that will just blow everyone away and you just not want to watch that video anymore but hope you enjoyed this video and remember to stay tuned for more please comment in the box below share your thoughts share this to your friends and parents hope you enjoyed and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do me a favor please please subscribe hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time